Hey again, Eric here from LED Grow Lights Depot. This is a review of the Nextlight Home Series 420H, released June 2021. Stick around for a full review, par testing, and my final thoughts on this fixture. This is my third Nextlight review of their lights. The first two reviews were of the Mega Pro and Plus Pro, both part of the Pro Series. I'll link to those reviews below. This review will cover the 420H, part of the new Nextlight Home Series. The Home Series also includes the 150H. How do these two Home Series lights compare to the Pro Series? Well, these lights fill the gap between the other Pro Series fixtures. The 420H is smaller than the Mega Pro, but larger than the Core Pro. It is also less expensive per watt or micromole per second of light compared to the Mega Pro or Core Pro. The 150H is Nextlight's smallest light, about 26% less powerful than the Core Pro, so it's perfect for small grows or filling dark spaces. The spectrum is the same in both series. Furthermore, the Home Series uses a dimming knob, while the Pro Series uses electronic dimming via a button. The Home Series does not have ports to integrate with a controller, while the Pro Series is compatible with a Nextlight Pro Series controller or third-party controller. All Nextlight fixtures come with a 5-year warranty. The 420H dimensions are 25 inches by 24.75 inches by 3 inches, and it weighs 12 pounds. The passively cooled fixture is very lean and clean. It is made up of two separate PCBs and framed with aluminum edges. The back of the fixture holds the driver box, which is where the power cord is located, along with the dimmer dial and metal hangers. The driver box does not detach from the fixture. When you purchase the 420H, you can choose between two different style plugs, 120 volt and 240 volt. Since their beginning, Nextlight has been using the same white light spectrum, which is around a 4000K color temperature. The spectrum is made up of one type of diode and is not a mixture of two different color temperatures to make up the 4000K. For example, there is not a 50-50 mix of 3000K and 5000K. We don't know the model or brand of the diode that Nextlight uses, but given the high efficacy, we know it's a top bin diode, likely from Samsung. You'll not find deep red, far red, or UV diodes in the fixture. The total light output of the 420H is 1092 micromoles per second with a PAR efficacy of 2.6 micromoles per joule. This is the same efficacy as all of Nextlight's other fixtures in the Home and Pro series. Expect around a 3x3 coverage area for flower or up to a 5x5 area for veg. You can expect to hang this light around 18 to 24 inches from your crops for flower and 36 inches to 48 inches for veg. You can move the light closer for veg depending on the size area you need to cover and may consider dimming it down at a closer distance. The 420H draws, you guessed it, 420 watts at the wall and 3.5 amps at 120 volts and 1.75 amps at 240 volts, according to Nextlight specifications. When I measured the watts and amperage at 114 volts, I got a reading of 427 watts with an amperage of 3.72. The auto sensing driver will accept voltages up to 277 volts AC. Expect a heat output of 1,435 BTUs per hour from a single fixture. The light is IP65 wet rated and CE certified. Since this is a home grow series, there is not a DLC or UL listing on this light, yet you still get Nextlight's 5-year manufacturer's warranty with your purchase. Here are the PAR charts from Nextlight. These were taken in a 3x3 and 5x5 tent. The PAR readings will be a bit lower outside of a grow tent or reflective walls. I took some readings in a 4x4 Gorilla Grow tent. Note that this light is best used in a 3x3 area for flowering, so my readings will be a bit lower on the edges and corners than Nextlight's. I suggest that you use Nextlight's PAR readings. My PAR readings will show you what it would look like to flower with this light in a 4x4 area or to use this light strictly for veg in a 4x4 area. The first PAR reading is going to be at 36 inches below the light. We're hitting around just over 500 ppfd. Moving to the back, close to 420, to the corner, about 378, and this other side just below 400. So this is a great veg height in a 4x4 tent. You could even raise the light a little bit higher where you're gonna get slightly lower PAR readings, but a little bit better uniformity. And our next reading is gonna be at 24 inches, where, where we're hitting just about, or just over 800 ppfd. 
in the back around 500. Corner about 380. And this other side about 470. So remember this is in a four by four tent. I would recommend flowering in a three by three, but this is kind of showing you what you would get if you want to veg in this tent or uh, even maybe even use this light in a four by four tent. And the next reading is at 18 inches where it looks like it's 1154 in the middle and dropping way down to just over 500 PPFD in the back, about 360 in the corner and about 470 on the side there. So 18 to 24 inches is the recommended height for this light in a 3x3, three three, uh, maybe even up to a 4x4 four four if you wanted to push it that far, but just keep in mind your uniformity is going to drop down significantly. All right, and the last reading is at 12 inches, so this is a little close, but I just want to show you the readings you're getting. About 1400 in the middle at 12 inches. And then moving way to the back, about 500 into the corner, about 320 and 460. So again, way too close. Um, however, you know, if you have any flowers that are getting around 12 inches to the light, this is uh, the light intensity that's gonna be hitting those. So 18 to 24 inches in around a three by three tent or three by three area would be the perfect height and size for this light. So what are my final thoughts on the Nextlight 420H? Nextlight's new home series is straightforward with minimal bells and whistles. These are simple fixtures that practically any home grower can use. They are great for beginner growers or experienced growers looking for a simple solution to flowering, veg, or a full cycle grow. The part looks good in a 3x3 tent. If being used strictly for veg, you might consider using this in a 4x4 area instead of the 5x5 area that Nextlight suggests. This will give you higher intensity with a good uniformity. A 5x5 might be a bit of a stretch, especially when using this outside of a grow tent. The light has a built-in dimmer, which should be expected on a grow light these days. Overall, Nextlight is an excellent US company, so their products, warranty, and service can be trusted. There's one downside to this fixture and all other Nextlight fixtures in my opinion, and it's that they don't have any 660 nanometer deep red diodes in the spectrum. I've gone into more detail on Nextlight's statements about why they do not put these diodes in their spectrum on previous Nextlight reviews, so I won't cover it here. I think it would have been a good idea for them to put these diodes in there for performance and marketing purposes, but I understand why they did not. The price of the next light 420H is $595 with free shipping and no tax. This is a fair price considering the light output and coverage area from a US brand. Next light products tend to be a little bit more expensive than some other comparable brands on the market, but the way I look at it is that you're paying a little bit more for that five year warranty. The 420H product page link is in the description below if you wanna learn more or purchase this fixture. At the time of this review, there's an automatic 5% discount for Nextlight Home Series fixtures and an automatic 10% discount for Nextlight Pro Series products. Destroy the like button and subscribe for more videos like this reviewing the best LED grow lights on the market. And check out our other LED grow light reviews on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram at LED Grow Lights Depot for giveaways, sales, and other content. Link below. See you later.